Hi everybody, uh, it's Colin Ng here, and uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, di digital citizenship, uh, specifically focused on privacy and security. Uh, there were some resources sent out um, regarding this uh, for our course, and uh, really wanted to start with just taking a look at what digital citizenship is. And uh, so I took a look at a website called digitalcitizenship.net, and they really define digital citizenship uh, as the norms of appropriate, responsible behavior uh, with regards to technology use. So taking a closer look, uh, the part of digital citizenship that really relates to privacy and security has to do with our information and our content, right? Our photos, personal comments, personal content that we create, uh, our information about us, and our identity. With the resources and the site that was shared uh, with the entire class, the, the commonsensemedia.org uh, site, it really describes the objectives of digital citizenship education for K-12 students as it relates to privacy and security. Uh, the objectives really are for students to learn strategies for managing their online information and keeping it secure uh, from online risk such as identity theft and phishing and for them to learn how to create strong passwords, how to avoid scams and schemes and how to analyze privacy policies. When supporting students in their education of digital citizenship with regards to privacy and security, there definitely are some areas that need to be focused on and covered. For example, what is privacy? What should be considered private? How do you keep your private information private and secure? Why is privacy important? What happens with data collection? And how do we respect the online privacy of others? And drilling down even deeper to some more specific uh, topics about privacy and security, it's important to focus on things like how do we create strong password security? What is identity theft and how do we protect against it? How should we go about managing sharing online? What are the specific spams and scams? Uh, what are the rules for children as it relates to websites? And how do we identify secure sites? Now recently, there's definitely been an increased awareness uh, by the public and by parents and by students, um, along with an increased media attention around uh, cybersecurity or privacy online and security issues. Uh, not, now this is not only in the U.S. because of some of those recent concerns uh, in the media about the raised by the media uh, about the NSA, um, but this is also this also exists in Canada. Just as an example, uh, there's an article here in the Star uh, that was published on July the 7th, 2014, called Online Privacy Protection for Kids Lagging in Canada. And uh, it really discusses some of the concerns about Canadian, some of the concerns that, it really discusses some of the concerns that Canadian parents have about online safety and security for their children, and what are some of the areas that we need to be most concerned about. Now, education for students when considering our personal privacy and online security is definitely an important component of digital citizenship. And I think one of the reasons why I feel that this is very important is that it will allow students to be informed enough and to be able to find their own balance because they believe that it is a balance between uh, being cautious when sharing personal information and content um, and being safe and secure about how we go about doing that, but also being open enough to take advantage of so many of the different opportunities uh, that exist in, in, in the online world and in the online community. So this is a brief and a quick overview of uh, some of the information that was covered uh, with regards to privacy and security uh, as it relates to digital citizenship. And uh, if you have any questions or thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. So please feel free to uh, post in the comment section here or fire me an email or drop me a message. Thanks.